Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I have another unboxing for you guys. I have the Felicity Jane kit for the month of uh, August and you have to excuse, I've got ink. I was doing swatching stamping so I've got ink all over me but um, I did want to go ahead and unbox the August kit for you guys so you could see what all comes in the box. I'm not an affiliate or on the design team with them. I just love their kits. Um, the link that I have down in my description box is the affiliate link for Andrea. She's Retro Hip Mama so if you shop that link it does help support her. So let's dive in and I haven't even looked at anything yet. I didn't look at the sneaks online um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys how everything comes packaged just so you can kind of see the quality of these kits. So I did read an email that there was something special sent to the subscribers. So I had subscribed to this kit and the funny thing is I actually canceled my subscription after this um, series. So this is my final box in the series. Um, and because I was getting the wild hair kits, I didn't feel like I needed both kits. Um, but after getting the box and just remembering how much I love Felicity Jane, I don't know, I may go back and subscribe. We'll see. But um, everything comes super cute package and branded. I love that. Um, and so all the subscribers for the month of August got one of these new pouches. So Felicity Jane recently moved um, their offices um, to Arizona, so a whole new state. And so they were down for a couple months and now they are back up and running and have new products and new goodies. So they did send one of these zipper pouches, which is awesome. This will be great for storing um, supplies if you want to, or even just using as like a makeup bag or or something like that. It is really um, nice quality on the outside. It's Felicity Jane here. And then um, it looks like it has a little pocket inside. I do believe they sell these individually on the site. So you can purchase these from the site. But if you subscribed and got a box this month, you've got one of these thrown in. So how cute is that? I just love, I love all their little details and how girly everything is. So you get a little note. Um, from Jenna and um, sending you sunshine from our new studio in Arizona and then you can use this card here in your documenting so it's fun and uh, it's got this really cute gingham says hello beautiful and then everything is wrapped in this tissue with the little worms here and everything is like individually packaged and it's like nice quality packaging so it these are a little bit on the more pricey side for kits. And I know that can be kind of a turnoff for people, but when you see just the kind of quality that you're getting from them, I definitely think it is worth it and the amount of product that you get. So um, when you order from them, you can order products individually or you can order the entire kit like this. Um, if you subscribe to the kits, then you get them for a little bit um, discounted of a price uh, if you sign up for that. So there's everything in the box. And so let's start with the papers. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this, is this paper. This reminds me of Brandy Kincaid. If you've ever seen any of Brandy Kincaid's work, uh, she does a lot of things for Feed Your Craft. This kind of looks like her like color palette and her style a little bit. So you can see even the papers are in plastic packaging. And so you've got the floral and tufted paper and then it's it, all these are double sided. So you've got a black and white on the other side. So what I have discovered is that most of their papers have a colored pattern and then a black and white pattern. That way um, you can kind you're not having to decide from two super busy fun patterns if you are a 12 by 12 scrapbooker. So um, what I like to do and what I've talked about in past videos is I automatically will go as soon as this video is over and cut these down to traveler's notebook size. So about four and a quarter by eight and a quarter tall. Um, and that way they are ready to be used in my traveler's notebook and I can get two full um, pieces and then out of the remnant I have some backing papers for photos and things like that. And I just found it so much easier to use the papers if I have them pre-cut and then that way I can kind of try out and figure out um, what papers I want to use. So this one is going to be so hard not to hoard. It's so pretty. Um, and then you've got this fun little like cross pattern and even the branding strips have a pattern on them. So I usually trim those off and then save those to use to layer behind photos. You've got the wood grain and sunburst, this really kind of fun cartoony um, wood grain. And then this one back here, super cute. Again, the black and white and then the color on this side. 
This 100% looks like something that Brandy Kincaid would come up with. This is definitely her color scheme. This is Bold Stripe and Speckles. So I love it. See, so it's even hard just to pick between like this kind of random speckle and then the stripe and then the branding strip down here says sweet home oh home sweet home so you can cut that apart and use that as well super cute and then you've got the squares and dotty stripes so this i don't typically reach for this type of pattern this kind of geometric pattern um, but this squiggly dot pattern is nice and then you've got the striped branding strip and all of their kits kind of coordinate together so if you have bits and pieces from past kits the colors are sometimes a shade or two off but they're close enough that you can kind of mush together past kits if you've got leftover here's spots and stripes so this is a pale like blush pink with a white spot and then this um, finer stripe and then a yellow gingham down here. Ooh, this is really different for them. So here is the sunset and tile. So here's a pink to yellow ombre. And then, oh, that's really pretty on the back side. And then the really fun floral branding strip. This is kind of like, um, was it last month's kit? I think it would have been June's kit with that floral. Super pretty. And then a plain teal with the scallop on the bottom and then a darker green, and then the peach and a yellow. So they usually always include a couple sheets of solid um, colored paper. So there are all the papers that are included. I am completely obsessed with this floral. So, so pretty. So there are all the papers. And then let's look at everything that's in the kit to kind of coordinate. So each month there's some similar items and then there's just some completely different items each month. So there's usually a stamp set. Um, so this one here, it's got this kind of um, poppy or binoculus flower here. And then you've got a polka dot, um, right where I belong, bloom where you're planted, my favorite place, just happy, follow your heart, smiling, just what I needed, home sweet home, just the beginning. And this is the Jenna kit. So this it, kit is named after the founder and owner of Felicity Jane. So each kit has a girl's name, which I think is super cute. Um, and so this whole kit is the Jenna kit. So these are really nice quality stamps and they come in these, um, nice plastic pockets. So I don't have to switch these out when I'm storing these. Um, and then I just stand them up in a container. So you've got that stamp there. You've got some chipboard hearts, and these feel like really nice quality chipboard, and they're all patterns and colors and some gold foiling that coordinate with those papers and the colors in the kit. So the colors are kind of this um, mint and um, green blush, grays, that kind of mustardy yellow, coral, really, really pretty. So it'd be easier to transition from summer to fall with the colors in this kit. So you've got those hearts. There's 20 pieces in here and I don't believe they're adhesive on the back. Nope, no adhesive on the back. So you would have to glue those down. So you got a package of those. You've got a set of puffy stickers again with that really pretty floral, um, some frames, my favorite place. I love this house. This is very remnant of Maggie Holmes. Um, here are some hearts and then these little um, flags and they have a little hole punched out so you could tie some thread or put a, like put a brad through there uh, where I belong in this really cute pink scallop there. So really fun. Um, and these are dimensional, but they're not super, super obnoxious. So you could use these in your Bible journaling or your traveler's notebooks. Um, if you don't like to use super dimensional products, these should be okay. They're not too puffy. You've got a set of eight tassel bows. So if you're a Bible journaler, this would be fun to create, um, tabs with so like attach it to a paper clip and use it at the top of your page um, and they're really full pretty bows and this kind of gives you an idea of the color palette for the kit this month so you've got eight of those you've got um, I'll save the die cuts here for a second uh, you've got a set of three by four cards so if you are a um, 
Project Life or Pocket Journaler. You've got these. I usually use these to map behind photos. They do have just some plain grids and dots patterns on the back side so if you're looking for something kind of neutral and then the front side has a pattern so you've got this black and white stripe that really pretty floral love in this place that's super cute that stripe and you've got an area to do some stamping or some journaling just a plain black and white dot today it's kind of tribal pattern here real life moments Little details would be a good journaling card. This is super cute. There is actually, I was just using the stamp set. So this is the stamp set from the Brie kit. Um, and this was the last kit, like I said, I think in June. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get this, but you can see that stamp set or that stamp there is these circles on this card. So if you did have this kit, you can see the kits kind of mixed together. Um, home sweet home and then this really fun kind of hand-drawn scallop card so like I said you can use those to map behind photos if you don't do pocket journaling but if you do like pocket spreads then these would be great for that um, these are really neat these I've never seen anything like this before these are flocked stickers so they're these really big stickers and they are flocked, so they're kind of velvety, like those color, those velvet color pages. And um, it feels like that. They are pretty thin. They have a little bit of dimension, but they're pretty thin and delicate. Um, so these would be fun to maybe uh, lay over some pattern papers, like paper piece behind here, um, and use these as embellishments. Maybe um, put these down and water cut like watercolor behind them or something like that. I don't know. There's a lot of fun things that you could do with these, but there's a big floral piece right here. There's a little flower here. It says bloom, a flower, 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 leaf. So there are nine different stickers on there. Those are really neat. I've never seen anything like that. And then you've got a set of chipboard alphabets. Mine obviously got left out in the sun before I got it off my front porch. So they're kind of falling apart, but I can fix that. And these are just a plain white chipboard. So you could um, color these in with watercolors, markers, stamp over them, lots of things to kind of jazz these up. I really love white alphas for that reason. I think you get a lot of use out of them because you can kind of customize them to whatever it is that you're doing. So you do get a set of those in a pretty good sized font. Want. And then that's not all. There's still more. You get a set of die cut shapes. So it says there's 34 pieces. And so here you always get the little girl. So Jenna is the girl for the kit this month. Super cute. And then this has like a faux wood grain pieces. Oh, look, the letters just spell out bloom. That's super cute some tags, some hexi shapes. That's super fun. Like I said, this just really reminds me a lot of Brandy Kincaid. This seems right up her alley. Some flowers, bloom where you're planted, home, little potted cactus plants, plenty of labels. When they had their big sale right before they moved, I ordered a whole bunch of the die cut labels and things like that um, because all the colors, like I said, coordinate. So I can use past kits goodies. Hello, my name is this fun green tag. Bloom. More hexes, more potted cactus, little heart, flower. So lots and lots of pieces. In there so there is a look at everything that comes in the Jenna kit from Felicity Jane this month and like I said the affiliate link down below is Andrea's affiliate link um, so just so you know that ahead of time um, I just order these because I love them I think they're so pretty I pay for them and like I said I had canceled my subscription but I kind of think I'm gonna renew it because they are, really do have good quality pretty um, products and I can kind of mix and match it with my kits from uh, the wild hair kits. So 
there is a look. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below and I will pop in and answer those questions. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxing style videos and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and be sure to click on that bell button so you get notified of any future videos that I have come out as I will be working with this kit. And then also be sure to follow me on Instagram if you're not, it's lindsaydecor413. And that's usually where I'll show kind of sneak peek photos, behind the scenes, um, and some things that don't show up in my videos. So definitely go follow me over there. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.